We're going to be covering crossroads today with traffic lights on using the near side to near side technique. Let's get driving. So crossroads is what we're going to be doing today with lights on and uh, we're going to be doing mainly right turns on them which is the, the trickier of the, uh, the turns and we're going to try it with a dual lane on the approach. We're going to be doing near side to near side so if you're not wondering what near side to near side is there's just a picture coming up now to give you an idea what I'm going to be doing and um, I'll be talking about what sort of things you should be doing while you're on there. So we're just going to do a right turn out of here. And we're only about a minute away from, from a crossroads, maybe less than that. So the the, the thing is, you, with, when you've got, got lights on them, you, you need to understand what the lights are trying to tell you. Green um, means go if it's clear. If it's not clear, you can't go through. And that's what you've got to remember. And green arrow means that everyone waits for you. And that's what people get a bit mixed up with. So we're just going to have a little look what's going on. We're going to do a right turn out of this bit here fine and at the crossroads we're going to do a right turn now as we get closer everyone needs to know you can see the arrow on the ground saying right turn only and just above the green light on the right it says right turns give way now there's three cars in my far right lane coming through so the car in front of me slowing down giving way is a bit wide there that taxi now the problem with being as wide as it was if anyone was coming the other way once turn exactly the opposite of us they're not going to get through because it's blocking the way. So you need to be positioning yourself in the middle, but not onto the other lane on coming and turning right. So we'll do another one the other way and we'll just keep doing some right turns. So it's important that when you do turn right, you position yourself across the right lane of the oncoming car, but not blocking him so he can't get through and then give way to the lane coming through. Okay, so we'll do that again and we'll see what we get on. So I'll repeat it again. So. <clears throat> Apologies if I keep repeating the, the same thing, but if I, if I repeat it, it's more easy for you to remember. So we're going to do right turns on the crossroads, and um, the green light means you can turn if it's clear. You can go and turn if it's clear. So when you want to turn right across the, on, the path of oncoming cars, you need to look at the, the cars in front of you and see what they're doing. Because if there's a car going straight through, then you can position yourself in the middle, but give way to the, that car coming through because they got the right away. But if the car opposite you is turning right also, so they're going to, to our left, then you do a near side to near side turn, which hopefully we'll see. But um, it all depends on the traffic. So we're gonna go right turn, so we've got mirror signaling. And I can see there's a couple of cars in the distance. I'm on green at the moment. So I'm positioning myself to give way to that car, and I'm turning in the position, and I'm waiting, and then I'm going because he's got the right of way over me. Now, it'll feel a bit weird because you if it's busy traffic, you could be sat in the middle of that crossroad and the lights change in front of you. So don't worry if they do change because there's a few seconds when you've got a couple of seconds to delay where um, when it goes to red, the, the cars come in the opposite direction and not necessarily going to come through because you've got like two or three seconds to get out of the way. But if you're at the front or second, then you're fine. I won't advise if you're three or four in the queue to go past the white giveaway line where the lights are. Just stop and just make sure it's clear to go through. So if it's in busy traffic and you're three or four cars back in the queue of traffic, once you turn right, then stop at the white giveaway line or the white stop line, say, uh, because um, them cars that are in the middle once you turn right could be there until the lights change, so you might actually get through. So we're just going to go around here, and we're going to be going left out of here, back to the crossroads, and have another go at doing it again. So at the moment they're on red, I can see ahead of me. I'm going to do another right turn on them. So to get close, there's already one car in front of me, and you can see on the right there's a yellow sign saying give way to oncoming cars. So see that white one's positioning, not bad. See, there's a white car, there's a car coming through, so I'm slowing down, giving way to the car coming through. So he's got right away, and then I'm following it. So remember that, you haven't necessarily got the right away. So if it's a green, green light doesn't necessarily mean you can go, it means if it's clear to cross, you can go, okay? 
So I'm hoping that makes a little bit more sense to you. <laughs> if it does, fantastic. By the way, if you're new to my channel and, and you're thinking, oh, this is interesting, I'm enjoying this, click on the subscribe button on the bo bottom right-hand corner. So we're just gonna turn the car around and go back through again, because I'm, all I'm doing is repeating the crossroads to try and make it easier for everyone to understand it. Because the right turns on crossroads are the hardest ones to do with lights on. So you can see in the distance the, the, the traffic lights at the crossroads, they just change the green. So there's a good possibility they're gonna go back to Bedford and get there. Or they're gonna change as they get there. So we're gonna be turning right again. It's as, it's as easy as that right turn. See they've changed, so, so when I'm stopping, I'm expecting them to change the green soon afterwards. And I'm going to be turning right, so I need to give way to the cars coming through who are going straight ahead. The cars turning right in front of me, they're going to go to my left, I'm going to do a near side to near side. And I keep repeating it so that it makes it easier. So there's a white van on the right, he's either going straight down the road past me or he's turning left. So he's got the right away over me, so when it does change, I'll be, I'll be stopping in the middle. It's important not to block the path of the car turning right opposite you, because see the, the white car is stopping in the middle, Letting the cars go past him, see the blue car going round him, doing near side to near side then. That's the right way to do it on them ones. And I've got two cars on my immediate right who are going to be coming across me, so I'm just easing off the gas, taking my time, because there's no point in racing to the middle and stopping. And then carry on, because that other car is too far away. I'm not affecting him, so I'm okay to go. Okay, I hope it makes a bit of sense. If it does, like I say, great. And um, Watch out for my next video next week.